Hi class. So today we are trying to complete practical number 2C creating repository. First of all you need to mount the USB to our system. So for that type mount that uh, file directory then where you want to mount the directory. I am already mounted that directory. So for that you need to type df h press enter. Now you can see red at ISO image I am mounted on run slash media slash ekran directory. Let's go to that directory. Run then media username and that file. Type ls. Now you can see uh, this ISO image have app stream base OS and uh, others files are there. You need to copy these directories and files to our system for that just create the one directory go to root directory fls you need to create a one directory name as repo for that you need to type a command mkdir make directory repo press enter fls now you can see repo directories are created now now copy that image files to this directory. For that you need to go for that directory or just list that directory location type L sorry type H. It is right now in run directory for that you need to type copy slash run media run and that file name copy all the files in it now where we have to mount that directories now where we want to copy that directories f slash repo and press enter yeah uh, now you can see these are directories so you need to so if you want to copy these directories for that you need to type cp hyphen r for the directories Space hyphen r press enter. Now it will take more than 5 to 10 minutes to copy this directories to our system. I am fast forwarding this video. Now, if you don't know how to mount the USB drive to our system, check out my other video, link in the description. Now you can see all file copy to our system. Now let's clear the screen. Type clear, press enter. Let's go to the repo directory, press enter, type ls. Now all file has been successfully copied to our system right now. Let's clear the screen. Now when we type command m install http press enter. This will show this system is not registered with the entitlement server. You can use subscription manager to register. And there is no enable repository in our directory or in our system. So first of all you need connectivity for the yum command. If you don't have any internet connectivity that's why we are working with the local repository. For that you need to copy this all RPMs to our system. You need to first uh, configure that repo directory to our system. For that, you need to type cd slash etc mrepos.d press enter type ls. So, here you have that all configuration files. Let's remove the first one or copy. Let's remove the first one, press enter yes. Let's clear the screen. So we need to create a one file over here. For that you need to have vi space local repo local dot repo. Press enter. For the insert mode you have to type i bracket 
red at 9 packet complete press enter type name local repo enter base url is equal to file slash where we mounted that file repo slash app stream slash packages or app stream is okay press enter gpg key is equal to sorry type gpg check is equal to 0 enabled is equal to 1 now save this file for that you need to type colon wq press enter type ls let's view this file now you can see file successfully created and we stored the our data to in it let's clear the screen Let's go to the root directory. Clear. Now we need to clear the catch. That's yum catch. Sorry. Now we need to clear the catch. For that, you need to type yum clean all. Press enter. Zero files remove. If you have any catch, that uh, files go here. Now let's list the repository. For that, you need to type yum repo list press enter now we can see our file successfully configured with the system let's clear the screen now let's try to install some app in it for that you need to type yum install httpd press enter Now you can see it's successfully connected to our system. Let's install another packages. Yum install nginx. Now see our repository is successfully connected to our system. Press Y, enter. Let's clear the screen. Press enter. Now you can see when I type google.com Press enter. You can see our server is not connected with the internet. So in this case we are using local repo for the installation of packages. Let's clear. Now we need to uninstall that package for that you need to type yum remove that package's name nginx press enter Now you can see this system is not registered with the entitlement server you can use subscription manager to register this pop-up always come up 
so if you need to remove that pop up for that you need to type cd slash etc ibm plugins dot d press enter type ls now you need to configure this subscription dot manager dot conf for that you need to open your vi editor file name press enter type i for the insert and here you can see front of enable you have to type zero now save your file let's clear the screen go through the root directory clear now let's check it out it's working or not yum remove and uh, what service we have to remove nginx press enter yeah now without authentication or without that pop up now you can uh, uninstall that service or some packages so our file is successfully connected with the you can remove or install your file without connectivity type y press enter clear the screen so this is how we can configure your system to your local repository